In 1969, a rookie LAPD detective got the case of a young girl kidnapped off the streets and raped in Hollywood. Steve Hodell never knew that the man he was pursuing, a man named Rodney Alcala, would turn into a serial killer. Now, more than 40 years later, Hodell is telling his story only to CBS2. And our Stacey Butler returns to the place where Alcala's reign of terror began. It should have never gotten to this point, and that's the tragedy of the story. Steve Hodell can't help but remember. This guy is worse than Manson. 1969, the rookie detective was on the hunt. Alcala loved getting his hands bloody. For a child predator. This eight-year-old girl by the name of Tally Shapiro is walking to school on Sunset Boulevard one morning, and the suspect pulls up in a car, stops her, and says, I want to show you some photographs. And the little girl says, I don't talk to strangers. She says, it's okay, I know your parents. The suspect was 25-year-old Rodney Alcala. He took the girl back to his apartment on DeLongpre in Hollywood. A suspicious neighbor called police. This young 25-year-old man comes to the door, looks out the window, he's got no shirt on. And the officers say, you know, open up, we want to talk to you, we've gotten a call. He says, okay, officers, I'll be right with you. The officers waited five minutes, then broke down the door. They go in. They find this eight-year-old nude on the floor in the living room, bleeding profusely from the head. A steel bar, solid steel bars laying next to her head. Alcala got away. Good luck, gentlemen. Well, let's see. Baxter number one is a successful photographer who got his start when his father found him in the dark room at the age of 13, fully developed. <laughs> Between takes, he might find him skydiving or motorcycling. Please welcome Rodney Alcala. Rod, welcome. Hodell scoured the Southland, even speaking with professors at Alcala's alma mater, UCLA. I talked to one of his professors at UCLA. He says, you got the wrong guy. This guy wouldn't hurt a fly. It would be two years before Hodel would track his suspect down, 2,000 miles away in New Hampshire. It happened when two teenage girls attending summer camp went to the post office and saw Alcala on the FBI's most wanted poster. And they're looking at the bulletins and they say, hey, th there's our counselor. Turns out the UCLA grad was working at an art summer camp for teens, claiming to be a student from NYU. I said, well, where have you been for the last three years? Well, it turns out that he basically reinvented himself, got new identification. Hodel brought Alcala back. He was convicted of attempted murder and rape of a child. He would spend four years to life in prison. Basically, I figure society is safe. This guy's off the streets finally. No more worries. Steve Hodel was about to learn. He was dead wrong. And the prison psychiatrist reviewed him and said, you know, he's much improved now. And he's released and he's set back into the streets. And we're going to start by having him say hello to you and see how they sound. Number one, would you say hello to Cheryl, please? We're going to have a great time together, Cheryl. As a rookie LAPD detective, Steve Hodell worked here at the Hollywood station, less than a mile from the scene of the crime. That was 40 years ago. His investigation led to Alcala's arrest. Little did he know then that the serial killer would go on a crime spree that would span decades. When he was arrested for the Orange County murder, I mean, that was my first shock. I thought, what is this guy even doing out? Welcome back to the dating game, and Cheryl, we have reached the moment of truth, as we call it. You heard from the bachelors, you got some great dramatic presentations, some good answers, but now I'm going to ask you a question. Will that date be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Who gets the dates? Well, I like bananas, so I'll take one. Number one, bachelor number one, all right. Well, there they go. However, you did leave one remaining, and this is your date, and I want to tell you something about him, Cheryl. He's a skydiver, so he's got a lot of nerve, he's into motorcycling, he's also a fine photographer. Say hello to Rodney Alcala. Rodney, come on and say hello. Congratulations, Rod, you did it with the one answer. 
After only two years in prison, Rodney Alcala was at it again. It was a different time. We didn't look at the term serial killer hadn't even been invented yet. Taking stock of his prey. You know, a jungle animal that's, that's out there to thrill kill. From here to New York, targeting one victim after another, Steve Hodell may never know just how many. The tragedy is, you know, he should have never gotten out on my case with two years. I mean, that's just unbelievable. An untallied number that still haunts him today. In Hollywood, Stacey Butler, CBS2 News.